so hello everybody and happy Monday. In today's video is going to be a quick power query tip that I find very very useful when doing complex transformations. Also I'm going to ask you something at the end of the video so don't miss that. Let's get started. Okay guys so sometimes I use power query as a requirement specification for what database developers need to do at the source and uh, the, com the steps can get quite complicated and I really want to document everything so they know what things are done and then they can replicate it back at the source. So sometimes for example when I'm nesting if statements I really want to have a comment for each if statement so they can see why is there and obviously you can put power query you, you know you can add comments let me show you in case you don't know you can add comments on the properties whatever you write here it will show up but it doesn't show up in the formula bar as you probably know it just shows on the editor and that is not good enough if I want to comment if you know if for example I have a lot of if statements and I want to comment each step so how do you do that this is so let's say if if I want to comment this part shift and there you do this the same as DAX you can actually create comments like you do in DAX so this is another comment and then you close it oh, sorry you have to close it obviously with that it will actually stay as you can see it stays in the visible in the formula pane in the formula bar and then you can actually continue writing more comments if you want and they will stay visible so this is very 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 useful you have to have the you know forward slash and then the, the star if you put the comment in the beginning just going to warn you if you put it there it's gone but it's not gone gone I mean it is still there it's just that it's doing you know it's added in in here but you don't see it in the formula bar and then you know it might be difficult for you to see how it works but this is a perfect way to common things when your power query steps are complicated so i hope you find this step useful so here's the thing i have asked you on twitter on youtube community on linkedin on the discord server what your power query best practices are i did a DAX best practice video and you ask me hey how about you do a power query best practice I said absolutely but this time I would like to hear what your best practices are so I can put together a complete list or quite complete list so let me know here also in the comment box you don't want to go to any of those channels unless you figure out what the best power query practices are so I will see you again on Wednesday with you know we're going to continue with our data story we're going to talk about this New York restaurant chart and see what was wrong with it if any and i'll see you then until then take care bye bye